Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a makeup declutter video. I am moving as a lot of you guys know and I really needed to do this before I moved. I just needed to cleanse my makeup. I needed to put away PR packages. My whole makeup cabinet was kind of just a little bit daunting and I kind of wasn't using the makeup in it because it was so daunting. So today we are going to fix that. We are gonna go start to finish. We're gonna go to my Ikea Alex drawer. We're just gonna make it simple. So you'll definitely want to go and grab like a cup of tea, a snack, because this is going to be a long one, a very long one, especially for me. Let's get into it. Okay, hey guys, so here is my makeup cabinet, as you guys all remember from my makeup collection video. This drawer in particular is just a hot mess. Everything is just crazy, like I barely ever go in this drawer, so I basically wanted to do a full declutter video. I also have this big box here of products that I wanna go through and put them in drawers, figure out what we're keeping, all that, so let's get started. So I have this little box here, and in this box, I'm gonna put anything that we are getting rid of. So let's start off with the primers. This NYX Photo Loving Primer is like pretty much done anyway. We are just gonna throw that one in the garbage. We have two of the L'Oreal Magic Lumis. I think I'm just gonna keep the one. This color correcting primer, I'm going to give away photo finish primer oil and a sample of this hourglass stuff um, I'm gonna give the hourglass away and I'm gonna get rid of the smash box. That's pretty good I'm just left with one primer now. I had this in the box uh, of stuff that I really wanted to try So I'm gonna take this out of the box and I'm going to put it in my little primer section. Moving on out, this is all of my foundations. We have two Tarte foundations. This one is pretty much empty. This one I will keep because it is a little bit darker. These are the lightning drops. Make any foundation lighter. They're from the body shop. It's a really cool idea, so I am going to keep those. This is the Makeup Forever HD stick. It's just not my shade. Okay, I have this NARS foundation, which is also really light, so maybe I shouldn't be keeping both of these because they're both really light foundations, so I think I'm going to keep the NARS one. I find these two are like really similar. So I'm going to keep the Maybelline and give the Body Shop one away. I like this foundation, but it's like way too light. That is what my foundation primer drawer looks like. A lot nicer. So next up we have my powders and concealer drawer. This, which I never use, so I'm going to give that away. This concealer is pretty crappy and I've used it a ton, so I'm going to throw that one out. This one I never really gave a chance, so I'm going to keep that one on hand. I don't color correct, so I'm going to give that away. This e.l.f. one needs to go. It's just seen better days. The L.A. Pro Conceal, I didn't use that much. I really want to try that too, but I shouldn't keep both of these. So I'm gonna give away the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. Two of the Naked Skins, I'm gonna keep the lighter one. This Stroke of Light by Bare Minerals is really old. I'm gonna keep the Too Faced Born this way. I hate the NARS formula now. I'm gonna throw out the Glamouflage and I'm gonna keep this Makeup Forever one because it's amazing. Wow, that is nuts. Okay, so what we're gonna do so I can fit more of my powders in here is we're gonna move this. There we go. I have this Tarte one that I'm gonna throw in there and leave in the package. This is just the lightest Tarte one, but It'll come in handy in the winter when I'm actually that shade, but right now I'm not. Powders, we're obviously gonna keep my Laura Mercier. I have this NYX uh, blotting powder, which we'll probably keep as well. This L'Oreal True Match one I never used. I'm gonna give that away. This e.l.f. High Definition can just go. It's seen better days. Don't really need this Wet n Wild one. This Marcel Face Powder, pretty dark, honestly, so I am gonna just, um, let that one go. Okay, so there is my powders and my concealers. The highlight drawer is going to be a little bit crazy. And I have like a ton of highlights here as well, up here that have to go in the drawer, so good luck to us. So I have this Becca highlight that I haven't really used yet. It's that um, Amethyst Prismatic one. So we're obviously keeping that one. And then I also have Moonstone and Pearl. We're keeping Pearl for sure. I always feel like my Moonstone is like super chalky in comparison to everybody else's. That to me just looks like chalk and it's not highlighting and then when I blend it out same thing it just doesn't so I think I'm gonna get rid of this also have my Jaclyn Hill uh this is champagne pop flower child so I'm gonna put that in there and I have these two urban decay highlights which I've never touched so I'm gonna swatch them they're really pretty they're a bit chalky but I do want to give them a go so I will keep them and I'll just place them right in the front there. I'm keeping my ColourPop ones because I literally love their formula. The Too Faced Candlelight Glow is very much underwhelming. This MAC Light Scapade, it's really poorly pigmented as well. It's not highlighty. It's very chalky, so 
I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, this is just so hard to do. I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna keep my cover effects drops. These I don't even use anymore. Maybe we'll keep one of the NARS just for safekeeping. We'll get rid of the other one. I have two of these NYX um, Snow Rose Duo Chromatic highlights, so I'm gonna give one away. And then I have all of these other ones which I haven't tried yet, which I want to, so I'm going to keep them for now until I know. And then I have two of these Casey Holmes uh, Smashbox Highlight Palettes. We're obviously gonna keep these because I haven't really tried them yet. Well, that doesn't really look better, but I think it is, so to speak. So to update you, this is all the stuff I'm throwing in the garbage. This is all the stuff that I'm giving away so far. Blush, this is gonna be something else. I have these two MAC blushes. I really, really like this one, so we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't think I've ever used it. Coralie Store, we're obviously gonna keep because it's like a good orangey blush, but I also have California, so I'm gonna put that up there with it. This one, I think is just a Sally Beauty one. I will give that away. These Kat Von D blushes were really cool, but they never like, nobody really ever talked about them. Um, so bizarre. They got discontinued. This used to be my favorite blush of all time. This is, wow, you can't even tell. I'm gonna get rid of that. Probably won't ever use these ColourPop blushes. All look the friggin' same. Okay, one's a highlight, so that highlight should go into the highlight drawer. And that's because two are actually the same. Okay, so these are the same, so I will get rid of one. I'm gonna keep the CoverGirl one because it's a drugstore and I don't really have that many drugstore. And the Hourglass one I never use. Like, it's just... Uh, let that one go. I'll give that away. So yeah, that is the uh, blush drawer. I'd say that is pretty good. If I can um, make a second highlight drawer out of whatever I have left here, I will. Um, just because that drawer over there is like crazy. Okay, this is the bronzer drawer. I have this Kiss Contour Kit. Probably gonna give that away. Um, do you guys remember when the taupe blush was all the rage? Uh, have one, so I'm gonna keep that. The unopened one, I'm gonna give away. Give away because I don't think I really use it. Give away. And that's it for bronzers. Okay, so I emptied the drawer that had all my Ellie Golding stuff in it and I sorted that into the other drawers. So I am going to try to make these a little bit less cluttered, I guess. This next drawer is my NYX drawer. It also has my MAC lipstick. So this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in this color, I'm gonna get rid of. I have this soft matte lip cream, but I'm gonna get rid of it because I really don't enjoy um, hot pink lips. I kind of forgot how much I love these, so I should start wearing them more. This is a new one as well. This one's Vancouver. It came out recently. These butter lipsticks don't really do much for me, especially like, this color for sure I'm gonna get rid of. Um, this color too. This color I don't think I'd wear either. This one's actually like a really nice nude so I will keep that. I really like that actually, 529. And then basically I have three of the lip lingeries and three of the cosmic metals. Then we have these two back drawers which I have these Color Chase Cosmetics lipsticks here. The only thing I think I'm gonna keep is this white lipstick just because I don't have a white lipstick and I find that that comes in handy sometimes. So Hue is like dead, look at this. So this is the Viva Glam Nikki and it's like really corally and that's just like not my shade so I'm gonna let that one go. I love this Viva Glam Nikki. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I have this gloss that goes with it and I'm gonna let go of the gloss. Probably will never wear that so I'm gonna let that go. So I have two snobs. So I'm just gonna keep whichever one has the most in it, which is obviously this one. I'm gonna get rid of that because never really wore that. I'm gonna get rid of this one, obviously, because I have a Saint Germain, which is like what I need if I need that one. That's Cherry Bomb, and so I might just keep that one. This is like a really pinky nude, so I don't think I'm gonna keep that. I am gonna add my two Ellie Golding lipsticks in with my MAC lipsticks. And then I also have all of these from the Ellie Golding collection. We have a section in the back area that I kind of wanna put something in. If you come over to this side there is this etc lipstick drawer which is just full of stuff so let's see if we can find a brand in there to fill up that space so we could do covergirl because i tend to have like a lot of covergirl lipsticks i'm gonna get rid of this one yeah i think we're gonna keep all the rest of these except for this one which is Euphoria. Okay, so now all of my CoverGirl lipsticks are there, my MAC lipsticks, and then all of my NYX stuff. These are the Winky Lux lipsticks. I don't really use these, so I think I'm gonna get rid of most of them. These dark colored glosses I'm gonna get rid of. These are the Urban Decay ones that I have. Stark Naked is like one of my favorites, so for sure we're gonna keep that. We're gonna get rid of the Bittersweet because it's just not my color. 
We're gonna get rid of this because duh. <laughs> and these are a bunch of lipsticks that I have that I have to go through as well. So we have one from the line that they just released. This is in the color Abstract. Really nice brown tone nude. I actually really like that. So we are going to say yes. In the Urban Decay Vintage line, they put out all of these uh, purples. I kept the Nicki Minaj one that's like purple like this. I also kept the Katie Cat one that's like this. So I'm gonna get rid of these three purples. I don't think I have a blue lipstick. So maybe I should keep both of these. The vintage pa packaging looks like this if you've never seen it before. Then we also have all of these. These are all like metallic kind of lipsticks. We will keep these for now. I don't know how much I'm how much use I'm gonna get out of them. I also have this color, which I feel like is a Gwen Stefani one. No, rock steady. Yeah. I'd prefer to have it in the Urban Decay packaging, so we're gonna keep that one and get rid of the Gwen Stefani one. I have all of these Urban Decay Vice like lip topper things. So basically they are a long-lasting water-resistant lip top coat, but I saw people using these as glitter liner and like glitter tears and things like that. So because they are water resistant, you can wear them as like lip colors and whatever. I think I'm gonna keep all of these because I mean, why would I not keep all of these? I hope that there's a gold one. You guys, look at how nuts these colors are. These are so pretty. I'm so happy I opened these. These would be really cool over like eyeshadow looks and stuff. Oh, and look, there is a gold, yay. Now into the abyss that is also known as ColourPop. I'm a really big fan of my ColourPop lippy sticks. So ones that I know for sure I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep Monkey because I love their hyper glossy formula and I'm like pretty sure they got rid of it. Gimpy, go fish, juicy, bound. We're gonna keep, I'm gonna get rid of the purples. Purples are just like not my, not my jam anymore. So brills, pepper, uh, flawless, those are all gonna go. If I'm wearing a dark red, it's probably gonna be a liquid lipstick, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have anything like this at all. Also don't have anything like this gray liquid lipstick. This color, it's all right, but I'm never gonna wear it. As nice of a color as this is, this is Dr. M. It like literally crumbles within seconds. It's the worst. Lumiere 2, we're gonna keep for sure. We're gonna keep Shimmy. I love LAX, it's also really old. It's just, it's a shit formula again, but I love the color, so it's gonna stay. This is Seesaw, probably never gonna wear it. Gonna get rid of that one. Alyssa and Hack, we're gonna keep. These ones are new, we're also gonna keep these ones. Check out Midi. This was like from my first ever ColourPop order. Look at how old it is. Oh my God, we're gonna keep it. I think it's still good. We have four Cluelesses. Believe it or not, these are all the same color. Isn't that so strange? This is the newest one, so for sure we're gonna keep that one. Okay, so that is ColourPop done. Next up we have my Lime Crime drawer. We're gonna get rid of this. This was my first Lime Crime order ever, and this baby went through the wash, and it's just seen way better days, so that's just gonna go in the garbage. For all my Lime Crime Velveteens, we're gonna keep them all, because I'd like to at some point um, like do a swatch video or something. The reason I like their formula of liquid lipsticks is because I don't really have much of a top lip and I need my formula for my liquid lipsticks to be really watery. And a lot of brands don't do the watery lipstick. I'm being real with you guys, that's why I really like the Lime Crime formula, even if some of you don't. Now in the back here I have all of my like Kylie ones and I want to move those up to the front because Kylie um, has my favorite formula. Some of the ones I pulled out of this drawer, this Violet Voss one I'm gonna get rid of. This LA Splash one I'm gonna get rid of. I don't really like the smell of these formulas, like the LA Splash one. They smell like really chemically and I don't like how they wear, so I'm gonna get rid of those ones. Just found a couple more ColourPop ones that we're going to keep. This is Samantha's MAC lipstick that I just got. We're gonna keep that one. I have this false eyelash drawer. I'm gonna take all of these eyelashes out and I'm gonna put these in my Ikea Alex drawer. That way we can use this drawer for more lip products. Okay, so this drawer I'm gonna take out. It's full of just like all these random lip products. And I'm gonna put this drawer here so that we can sort more lip products into it. So I have all of these Smashbox, Smashbox, <laughs> Smashbox lipsticks. So we're gonna put the Smashbox ones here. And then I also have all of these um, Smashbox liquid lipsticks and then we're gonna add this little divider in and I think we're gonna do the bite lipsticks that I have here. I'm gonna put some of my YSL. For the time being, I'm gonna put my Kat Von D ones there. Now we have to sort through this monstrosity of a drawer. This I'm gonna get rid of Oh, for a lip liquid lipstick. It's hot pink, so I'm not gonna wear it. This Jordana thing we're gonna just throw in the garbage. Their Minerals lipstick I'm gonna get rid of just because it's a uh, hot pink as well. You guys, if you're following me from the beginning, do you remember when these Maybelline Color Whispers were like my holy friggin' grail? I'm surprised, oh. I was gonna say I'm surprised there's any left and there's not. <laughs> 
this NARS lipstick in Anna, I really love. All of these things, like I don't think I use Melt Liquid Lipstick was the worst thing I ever bought. Like look at how disgusting this is. It was so dry and just so horrible. So that's going in the garbage. And this Gerard Cosmetics lipstick, which I never used. It's really cool tone, so we're gonna let that go as well. These are just some of like my other favorites, uh, liquid lips and stuff that we're gonna keep. I have like one Kat Von D lipstick. So yay, that drawer looks way better. So in this drawer we have mostly ColourPop eyeshadows and I'm thinking I'm keeping like the majority of them because I recently, as you can tell, went uh, through these. In the back here we have like all of these um, Color Chase pigments. I don't know, like for sure I'm gonna get rid of these dark ones. Gonna get rid of these L'Oreal eyeshadows. This MAC pigment I think we'll get rid of. The last drawer in this well is kind of a mess as well. It's kind of like eyeliners, mascaras, like random things like that. Probably old so we'll throw it out. I'm gonna take the moon dust that we have and I'm gonna put that with the Urban Decay stuff. I'm gonna throw these out because they've been open for a while. Garbage, 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 keep. That drawer was not as horrible as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so that's that row. This is how much makeup we got rid of. These drawers should be pretty easy. I'm gonna throw in some of the NYX brow pencils. I'm gonna get rid of this Annabelle, this All May Brow thing, these NYX brow thing. This is just stuff that I've used in the past on my brows. This Gwen Stefani, I don't even know why she released one brow color thing. And this Anastasia thingy that will be given away because I do not highlight my brows. Next we have this, which is like a palette drawer. There's a setting spray in here, which I'll give away because I've never used it. So I'm gonna give these away. This um, Body Shop British Rose palette I'm gonna give away as well. I really like the gold from this CoverGirl um, quad. I have my Ellie Golding palette, which I'm gonna put back in. This NYX Cosmic Metals palette, which I'm excited to try. I think that it looks really nice. Okay, so moving over, this was the Etc. lipstick drawer that we just threw a bunch of like random lipsticks in that we liked. This drawer right here is all of my glitters and stuff like that, so everything in there will stay. It's pretty organized. This uh, drawer right here is all nail polish, which I kind of want to get rid of this entire drawer because I don't use nail polish. I just want to give you guys like an overview of what all of our hard work looks like so far. So all of our lip products in here and then all of our like concealers. Um, our highlighters. So I have a bunch of these lip liners. These Urban Decay ones, which I'm gonna get rid of. I really love the consistency of my bite ones. The majority of the bite ones I am going to keep. The ones that I might not keep are like these fuchsia ones, these purple ones. I'm gonna take this purple one out. I'm gonna leave these ColourPop ones as well. All of the Kylie ones I'm gonna keep. And then I have all of these Kat Von D ones, which I'm gonna take out of this beautiful box as Amazing as it is, it's uh, not the most ideal situation. Okay, so those are the lip liners that I'm gonna keep, plus these two, they just don't have lids right now, but I'll just sit those in there. So now we have like a couple PR packages that I wanna go through and kind of sort in. How cool is this? It's an actual mailbox, you guys. A letter. Statement matte liquid lip color. So this will be all of my bare mineral stuff. I have a bunch of these Glam Glow Extreme Lip Plumpers. Get rid of those ones, but I'm gonna keep these ones. And then I have some of these pure chrome glazes. Much prefer these to like those Winky Lux glosses for sure. These are my Ikea Alex drawers. It's where I keep like new products as they come in. I need to go through it and kind of decide like, am I gonna try it? Like this box is empty, shouldn't be in here. We're gonna give that away. Sketch marker, I wonder if I can still return it to Sephora. Do not like it. I'm gonna try to return it for a different color. This second drawer is kind of a, a heap of a mess. I'm just gonna add that into the drawer with my other Lime Crime. Brow Wiz is in the wrong shade, so I'm wondering if I can return that. I bought this when I had pink hair and I'm just like, hmm, I wonder if I can get this in a different color. I'm just not the biggest fan of lipsticks unless they're nudes or else I just wear liquid lipsticks. So I don't think I'm gonna keep any of these. Um, this palette is actually really nice. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but um, it's a really nice palette. So I'm going to keep that. I'm just gonna add that into my palette drawer. Honestly, not my shades. We have these Maybelline Color Jolts. These are like lip paints, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna keep these two and I'm gonna give these ones away. Put these in the giveaway pile. Thinking I'm just gonna leave this in this drawer. So this Kylie thing from Valentine's Day and it came with this little Kylie uh, eyeshadow thing and look how pretty those eyeshadows are. For now I'm just gonna put this stuff in my Kylie section. I have all of these lashes so let's go through and see if there's any that I want to keep and that's that.
Now I feel like for my palettes, I have to be pretty ruthless here because I keep all the palettes that I use that I love on my desk. Kelly Osborne um, MAC one, I'm probably never really gonna use that, so I'm gonna give that one away. This one's not open yet, I wanted to use this in a tutorial, so that's why it's just sitting there. The Makeup Revolution highlight palette is pretty chalky as well, if I remember. I think I'm gonna keep it because it's so glittery and pretty. It's gonna give away. Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette is like probably my favorite palette of all time. Um, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, this has been through hell and back. I just don't like this palette. I'm gonna keep this Winky Lux palette though because it's got that really nice yellow in it. It's gonna go, it's pretty irrelevant and pastel and whatever. This Stila palette is also gonna go. I was only keeping it for that kitten color. Then I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palettes which I actually like really used and really liked. I'm gonna keep them for now because I'm like the only person in the world that ever used them. This is like the worst palette ever. Unpigmented and unfulfilling and just ugh. It's like insanely cool toned, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's not very me, but I could go in and take out some of the brown shades and that's kind of what I wanted to do. So until I do that, it will just stay. These are all palettes that I'm definitely gonna keep setting sprays and like I said all these palettes I'm gonna keep as well okay so here is the final countdown basically this stuff right here is all garbage this stuff is all stuff that I'm gonna try to give away anything that's new I kind of set aside and I'm gonna donate to a woman's shelter I think that we really accomplished a lot here and there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm like wow I was holding on to like all of this stuff and then a bunch of stuff too that just had to go thank you guys so much for watching I hope that this was enjoyable I mean it, it really was nice for me to watch back because I felt like a huge weight had just been like lifted off of my shoulders. Like I said, all the gently used things are going to go to my friends and family and then all the new stuff, anything that I can donate, I will be donating. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget we're doing three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I will see you on one of those days. Bye guys.